Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to my first full-length video. Woo! Um, I'm just gonna be keeping it pretty casual, walking you through my morning routine today. I don't know if it's super obvious. I think it's super obvious. I just woke up. I'm exhausted. I'm not doing great. It's it's 10 in the morning. I'm a little ashamed, but you know, we have these mornings. So let's just go through my morning routine. Now, before I start taking care of myself and my skincare and washing my face and all that, um, I need a clear head and that's not gonna happen when my room looks like this. So we're gonna clean it. Okay, really quick because I don't want to carry the camera around while I'm hanging up individual pieces of clothes, but I want to show you some of my closet organization, specifically my armoire. So I think this is my greatest pride and joy when it comes to my room because I am very organized. As you can see, um, that is where my underwear and socks and bras go. Right in here, we have t-shirts. It's a little messy, but normally I have everything rolled up in its rightful place. Let's see what else there is. I haven't gone through this drawer recently, but I do put most of my sweatpants and sweatshorts down here. Here is my closet with my sadly broken, missing second closet door. Uh, we have this system for hanging items and all the pants go down here. Accessories are right there. And a blanket is there because my cat loves to sleep here and I hate it when she gets ha cat hair on my clothes. And let's go over here. Those are random exercise things. We got a lot of my shoes. Probably the shoes I don't wear as much as the others. I cannot tell you the last time I wore either of those. And we got mainly jackets and sweaters and all that over here. And my most worn shoes go in here. This is the only place I get my shoes, if I'm being completely honest. Um, desk is messy, but... That's my desk. The date is completely wrong because I never change it. I have a TV here normally, but my brother and I share it, so he's using it right now. Um, yes, so got all the folded items folded. We're going to put them away in the respective places. And these are hanging items besides that. Yeah, we did it. I just finished cleaning my room. Let me... Looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm watching Markiplier. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. But let's go get me ready now. Okay, now that we are all clean, let's get this cleaned up. So I'm gonna be going with... 
I'm going to be going through my skincare routine in the morning. So I start with this. It's the Trader Joe's Oil-Free Face Lotion. Godsend. Love this. So I'm just going to be rubbing it all in. This. I'm trying to go in those upward motions because I know I'm 19, but I'm worried about wrinkles. So I'm just going to do it like this. While I'm doing this, I want to talk to you about something that happened to me this morning and um, something, honestly, that I'm proud of. So, um, if you don't know, if you're here just off of YouTube, the reason I'm on YouTube is I was doing vlogs on Snapchat and it was a lot of fun. I was just vlogging about my outfit, my day, my classes, and I was receiving a lot of backlash and a lot of creepy guys sending me undesirable things you can only imagine um so i decided to switch over here and i was advertising that on my snapchat um and i had a few detractors saying things like oh your content is lazy and bad even though you know that's the style i'm going for <laughs> not lazy and bad but just kind of the casual keeping it real <laughs> i'm gonna coin that as my aesthetic keeping it real but <laughs> Um, you know, there was one person specifically today that was saying, wow, your content sucks. Like, what do you mean? Thank you to your supporters. Like, who would support you in your content? And my initial reaction, I, I didn't say this, but my initial reaction in my mind was like, F you. Like, like, why are you so rude? But I took a moment and I prayed on it for a second. For those of you who don't know, I'm Christian, and I prayed on it for a second, and I decided to respond with grace. And so I said that you seem like you're an unhappy person, and I hope that things get better for you. And let me tell you, 30 seconds after, that felt a lot better than how I probably would have felt with my initial reaction. <laughs> so today, I am grateful that the Lord was able to help me with that interaction, even though it seems really small and petty, it made me feel good after versus, you know, maybe something that would have made the other person feel worse later on. But I do genuinely wish that person the best. Um, I want to try to share something every day with you guys that I'm grateful for. So today I am grateful that the Lord intervened in this incident. So. I put this on for way too long, but now that I'm done doing that, let's move on. One of my acne medications. I don't know, it's pretty obvious. I have some acne struggles. So this is my morning medication. I am running dangerously low on it, but we are just going to put this on. Oh, there we go. All over my face. Kind of the same way I did the lotion. My nightly one is topical, but this one is not. <laughs> So there we go, and after this, we're going to move on to makeup. I'm going to wait to do my hair till the end because I don't like it being in the way when I'm doing my makeup. So I'm probably just going to do a quick time lapse of me doing my makeup because it's a bit boring after a while, and I'm probably going to watch more Markiplier if I'm going to be honest, but I start off with this. Well, no, that's a lie. I lied. <laughs> I start off with this primer and I go in with the Fit Me foundation in Fair Ivory. I have really light olive skin. That's what the beautician told me at the nail salon. I don't usually get my nails done, but um, I have like very pale olive skin is what I was told. And um, this isn't perfect for it, but it, it works. Um, after that, I'm gonna go on with this for my dark circles because I don't sleep enough. Um, we're gonna color correct some of my bigger pimples with this. Uh, what other products do I use? These are both e.l.f., by the way. A lot of these are e.l.f. Um, we are going to cover the pimples over the foundation, over the color corrector, with two different concealers because I am indecisive. Um, this one's a little dark for me, so I don't use this as much, but it's nice to apply. And somewhere in 
here we got this is my favorite concealer right now the l'oreal infallible concealer this one is in porcelain which is a little light for me but it blends well enough into my foundation um after that we are going to be using the nyx control freak brow gel i already have a lot of natural brows but this just helps get them in shape and we are going to fill the little sparsity spots just to even them out all the way with this after that we're going to go in with curling the eyelashes and the waterproof black lax sorry the waterproof black lash sensational mascara by maybelline and it is wonderful i have tried so many mascaras and i always go back to this one after that I usually do my contour, my blush, my highlighter, all of liquid products, and I'm not really sure what all of these are. This is something I got from Ipsy in the Mail forever ago when I did that. It's like pixie. It's a blush in natural rose. We have this dollar store contour stick from LA Colors in... I think it says medium, whatever that means. And... <laughs> We got this, another Ipsy product from forever ago when I could afford that, <laughs> when I had a job. And we have this highlighter. It's like liquidy. It's not liquid. It's, oh, what's the word? I, I want to say fondue. It's not fondue. It's malleable. Let's go with that. And finally, for my eyeshadow, we are going to be going in mainly to my crease. Oh, I just knocked stuff over with this palette so stick around for this time lapse
Okay, so we are pretty much done with the makeup look. It is very just natural, everyday. I might do a few little touch-ups with concealer, but now I am going to set it with the e.l.f. Stay All Night setting spray. And I forgot to mention earlier, but this is the powder that I used. It helped even out my complexion and it lasts all day, even at the gym. So the final step for today is going to be picking out an outfit. I had one in mind, but I checked the weather and it seems that San Luis is having a bit of a heat wave. So we are going to choose something that is forgiving of that. So I am thinking we are going to wear a button. Oh, I just dropped something. I will hang that up in a minute. This romper. I thrifted it. It's from Old Navy originally, but it's my favorite. It's like one of my favorite colors too. So let's put this on. Okay, so for today's jewelry, I've decided to go with gold. So this necklace set is from Aeropostale. I used to work there, fun fact. And these are my favorite earrings. They're from Gorjana, and I've had no issues with them tarnishing whatsoever. So highly recommend these earrings. There's a little tarnishing on this, but that's all right. We are also going to go with my Air Forces and these adorable frilly socks I got off of Amazon. And finally, I'm not proud of it, but I did get this bag from Shein when I was a lot younger and a little more naive. <laughs> but this is the bag that we are going with today. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today for this video. It's my first full length video on YouTube and I'm super stoked about it. I'm not going to do a lot of editing because that kind of ruins the crux of my channel, but I am going to edit some clips together. So I woke up around 10 o'clock this morning. I want to say I started doing all this cleaning my room, all that around 10.20 and it is now noon. And that means I am starving. So I'm going to go have a smoothie and some eggs, but Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today on this video. I had a lot of fun. If you liked the video, please give it a like. I would so appreciate that. And please feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you along as I make a lot more of these videos. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye, YouTube.